LEGO Worlds is an incredible game. It's like having an endless bucket of LEGOs. You can build a huge castle or a small house in the clouds. Learn how to design and create your own world with me in this tutorial series. Become a master designer slash builder. In this series, you'll learn how to design and build many different architectural styles. We'll cover lighting, furnishing, and decorating interior and exterior spaces. We'll build castles, dungeons, bridges, skyscrapers, and even a spaceship. So get your game ready and follow along. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Designing and Building in LEGO Worlds. I'm Brandon, this is Max. In the last episode, we built this incredible Raptors research facility. In this episode, we are going to work on the interior. We're going to get a bunch of cool science stations built, and we're also going to finish the roof because we need to be able to research those crazy Raptors. You guys had a lot of great ideas for things that we could include in the laboratory, and we're going to try to get most of those built today. All right, guys, get your game ready, follow along, or sit back, relax, and enjoy some super awesome, sweet speed building in LEGO Worlds. This is a suggestion from Tia, and we think it's a wonderful idea. Tia thinks that we should create a much larger window so we can observe the raptors, and I think that's a good idea because right now, only one or two people really, ooh, can fit <laughs> in that window to observe the raptors, so we want more to be able to observe it. And why not, right? So we're gonna go ahead and cut a hole in this entire section and open it up so we can have one giant window to observe all the cool things that the raptors do. Before we do that though, we might want to uh, put some of these raptors to sleep. Um, otherwise, they're gonna cause some problems for us. When we cut the hole, they'll be able to get inside <laughs> of the laboratory and we don't want them to do that. So let's go ahead and get out our little night-night tool here and put these guys to sleep. Don't attack us, guys. Be nice. All right, here, ooh, look at them. They are just ready to pounce on Max. <laughs> so some of you guys have pointed out several times <laughs> that these are not raptors, that they are coelophysis, and we are well aware of that. Um, but you know what? We're gonna call them raptors because we can, and because there are no raptors in LEGO Worlds and we want raptors. So we're just gonna pretend that the coelophysis, which isn't nearly as fun to say as raptors, is basically a raptor. <laughs> to cut out this larger hole, we're going to use the remove tool. The next thing we're going to do is place the 2x2x5 two by two by lattice tower in titanium black on the other side, and then we'll go ahead and fill in this space with some transparent bricks. And then we'll do some neon red bricks on the sides. We really like the way it looks with the outside edge glowing in red. So this is a little glitch that they seem to have not ever fixed and it drives me crazy. 
So sometimes when you place clear bricks, they don't look clear all the way. You see the separations, but it's only sometimes and only in certain locations. So I really don't like the way that looks, but it doesn't seem like that's going to change anytime soon. So I have a little bit of a solution for that. It's not the best solution in the world, but it does work. Basically, you just need to find where the bricks no longer do that. So in this case, it's just two bricks away. If we tried to do it one brick away, then we still get that uh, separation. But if we do it with two studs in between, then we get that nice clean look. So let's figure out where that happens over here and then we'll try to center everything on the window. All right, all the other transparent bricks look just fine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put a different kind of a brick in those spaces. All right, let's try the one by two brick and let's see how that looks. Oh good, that's perfect. All right, so we still have a little bit of something showing up right here, but that's okay because it doesn't look bad. So let's try that over here and hopefully that will work. Excellent, that looks awesome, yay! That is one beautiful giant observation window. You guys, this is looking so cool. We have this giant observation window. Uh, the next thing we wanna do is finish the outside uh, right out here. Right now we just have this opening on the upper part here where the walkway is. So what we're going to do is extend the wall of the laboratory over the walkway here, and then we'll cut a hole on either side so that you can still walk all the way around the edge of the paddock if you want to. First things first, let's go ahead and remove these handrails up here. And we're gonna do that with our trusty remove tool. We just have to move it around and make sure that we're not hitting anything we don't want to remove. Now we're gonna fill in these upper walls to look similar to the lower walls. So we'll be using a combination of the lattice brick and also the one by one round and the round plates. Looks like we need to extend the roof here a little bit beyond the edge of the building. I think the easiest thing to do here will be to extend the roof and then to cut through the roof plane with the edge of the wall here. And then we can just delete the extra pieces on the end. Wow, that looks cool at night. <laughs> Now that we've finished building the walls around the walkway, we're going to add some details to the roof. We really like the way this red glow looks from the neon red color, so we're also going to put it around the base of the skylight.
Now we're going to use the radiator grill plate in the platinum metallic color, but we're going to alternate the direction here a little bit just so that when we're copying it over the whole surface, it doesn't look too repetitive. This is an easy way to add some interest to a large flat surface. You guys, this is looking super cool. What an awesome looking roof. So we're gonna use the one by one plate to fill in the empty spaces along the edges and we're gonna do it in that same platinum metallic color. So it should blend in pretty well. The next thing we wanna do is cut a doorway here and also on the other side over here so that you can walk through along the catwalk here and also walk through the laboratory. So I really like the way these cheese slopes look here above the door, so we're gonna continue that look onto this doorway as well. Let's go ahead and turn on overlap so that we can just click and drag. We really should have kept the railing on the inside because we don't want people falling off the edge of the catwalk here into the laboratory. So we're going to go ahead and build a new railing along the edge. All right guys, the exterior is looking pretty amazing. So now, oh hey, <laughs> so now we can start focusing on the interior and you guys had a lot of great ideas for what we could put on the inside. We're going to start with a cage where we can put a raptor and the scientists can research them up close. We really like the Samurai X computer terminal. It doesn't exactly match the rest of the building, but it's pretty close. The only difference is it has some blue accents, which we don't really have on this building, but the rest of it matches pretty well. So we're going to put two of these over here and then we want to put down the robot cage because it's the perfect size for raptors and let's see if we can try to get this lined up pretty well here so we want to do it up high so that people can walk up to the edge of the cage and they can see the raptors up inside the cage but we probably want to move it a little bit over this way so that it comes right to the edge of the computer terminals here that's not exactly in the center of the corner here, so we're gonna move it around and then we'll just uh, move the computer terminals once we get the cage placed in the right position. Okay, so let's put the cage right here. And let's go ahead and remove these terminals and we'll replace them in the proper location. This is the exact center of the cage, but we do need one place to load up the Raptor, so we probably won't put any computers on that side. Let's just put the computers on this side. I wonder if we can fit two of them side by side here. Oh yeah, we can, nice. That's perfect. The next thing we'll do is fill in the bricks here at the base so the cage isn't floating. I 
think this little section here would be a perfect spot to put our awesome red neon glow bricks. So we're going to fill this in with some bricks and then we'll paint them in the neon red color. I don't like this giant empty space that we have here above the cage. So we're gonna fill this in with something pretty cool. All right, we're in Max's point of view and we're gonna check out this room so far. Oh. You guys, we really do need more skylights in Ivory City because this is absolutely incredible. Look at that. Okay, this looks pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of red glow coming off of there, but you know, everyone needs to be aware that this is a very dangerous part of the laboratory. So they need to be on high alert and make sure the raptors don't escape. All right, let's go over here and let's build a ramp off of this area so the raptors can get up inside there. So this is what the raptor will see when they're inside the cage. Looks like it's pretty secure, guys. And he can't really see his friends over there very well, so we don't need to worry about them getting each other riled up. Um, we've put the door over here, not on purpose. <laughs> that is actually a really easy fix. All we have to do is remove that, and then remove this one, and then we can place the door. All right, so we also replaced the jail bars back there where we took out the door. Okay, so let's go ahead, as dangerous and scary as it is, let's go ahead and get a raptor in there. Max, hurry, close the door, hurry. Oh my gosh, that was close. That was a close call. I don't think that the raptors are smart enough to open the doors, but then again, who knows, maybe they are. Let's see. Hey, little guy, how's it going? Well, I'm sure these scientists are gonna learn tons about raptors. Look at her over here. She's already learning so much. Look at her. <gasps> Did you figure out how to clone them yet? Oh, not yet. Yeah, well, you better hurry up because we wanna open Jurassic World pretty soon. <laughs> All right, guys, the next thing we wanna do in here is get some computer terminals down so the scientists have a place to uh, work on their spreadsheets and compare samples and compare notes about what the raptors are doing. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna use the science computer desks because they're super sciency, and this is what I imagine would look right in this lab. You know, because there's a microscope, there's a little plant sample, and there's an old school PC with a giant, giant keyboard. <laughs> And just in case we have any Mac user scientists, uh, let's go ahead and put some iMacs in this part of the laboratory. This is where the executives are going to be because, you know, they have these incredible views of the ocean and they demand fancy computers so they get an iMac. And these are actually iMac Pros, so they're like $5,000, a crazy amount of money for a computer. But you know those things are awesome. These fancy iMac Pro computers need an executive style chair. So we're gonna put some executive chairs here. All right, well, I guess all of these guys are also going to get executive chairs because none of these other chairs match the look of our building at all. I mean, I guess we could do stools. Hmm, I actually kind of like that idea. <laughs> okay, let's do the deli stool.
You guys, that looks pretty awesome. I mean, I wish we could get the stools a little bit closer to the desks, but that's as close as they would go, so it's not so bad. I just wish we could use them, uh, but we can't. That's okay. <laughs> okay, how's the raptor doing in the cage here? Uh, uh, hey, where's the raptor? You don't know? What are you talking about? You're supposed to be watching that raptor. What? <gasps> How did you get out of here? Oh no! <laughs> okay, we're going to have to get this raptor back into his cage. This is exactly what we were trying to avoid. I don't know how he even got out of there. There is no way in or out except through this door. Okay, looks like he's in there now. Hey, you better do your job and make sure that raptor stays in there, okay? Okay, good. So it sounds like she's gonna guard that cage a little bit better. <laughs> All right guys, the last thing we wanna do is get some light in here because it's not really that bright at night. In fact, it's pretty dark in here. So we need to get some light fixtures installed. We're gonna use the same light fixtures that we used in the hotel. They're white, but you can't really tell uh, because they have this glowing material all around them. It's really hard to tell what color they are. They look kind of gray actually. So they should be just fine in this space and this will save us a little bit of time. And I think we might even be able to center them, I hope. Yep, we can totally center them on the columns. And this is going to add a lot of light to our space. See that? I mean, it almost looks like it's exactly the same color as the black on the ceiling. So that should be good. All right, guys, I hope... <gasps> oh, our raptor got out of his cage again. So apparently he can operate that door. And we have a T-Rex right outside the window, staring us down and looking all menacing. Oh, you guys, Jurassic World is a dangerous place. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more designing and building in LEGO Worlds, then uh, subscribe to the channel. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.